Howdy y'all, Mr. Cutchin here, and today I'm bringing you a first person uh, tuning tutorial video. So I've got my GoPro uh, strapped on and ready today, and basically I'm gonna be walking you through um, all the steps you need uh, to tune your guitar from a first person perspective. So everything should look the same as you're seeing it on your end. Um, if you're one of my orchestra students playing violin or viola this year, um, go check out the violin and viola specific video um, on my YouTube channel, I'm making a separate video for y'all. So for my guitar students, you're here, go ahead and get comfortable. Um, this video may be kind of lengthy, but everything I'm going through is super important. So we wanna make sure that you are learning the whole tuning process from start to finish. Uh, so the very beginning of the tuning process starts um, just with good seated playing position. There's three elements that we talked about last week for uh, that guitar seated position. And it's the right leg, where our guitar sits. Then we pull the guitar up to our chest. So contact point number two is the chest. And then the third contact point down here is the right arm on the upper arch of the guitar body. So the right arm sits there so that the fingers are in centered in front of the sound hole. One more time, I'm gonna go through my three steps, my three uh, contact points, right leg, into chest and right arm on the body of the guitar. Fingers in front of the sound hole. Okay, so from this seated rest position, or seated playing position, excuse me, um, we're ready to start tuning the guitar. Now you wanna make sure you have either an application on your phone, or today I'm actually using one up here on the computer. And I realized that Looking at a screen through another screen, the video quality here is not going to be great, um, but it's going to look, make sure you pull up the tuner on your end because it'll look much better. Hopefully you can get a general sense though of what's going on as I'm doing this today. So uh, make sure you have your tuning app open and if it requires the, you know, the use of the microphone, make sure you have that permission enabled on your computer. Um, so I can go ahead and test and make sure that the tuner is working. And I'm gonna start by playing uh, this string up here, the one that's closest to my nose. This string up here is the sixth string, number six, and it's the note E. So if I look over here, my tuner is registering an E. Don't worry about the number two after that E just yet. We'll talk about that later. Um, all you need to care about is the letter, and we see the letter E there. And hopefully you can see that uh, there's a needle and it's standing pretty much straight up. And also the color is green. So we're looking for a green color uh, to indicate that this note is pretty much in tune. Um, we're gonna do this with all six of our strings. So let's go ahead and check um, the other five. So I'm gonna be moving, starting on the sixth string, I'm going down towards the floor and the numbers are gonna get smaller. So we're gonna go six, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm referring to the numbers of the strings as we count them. So let's go to string number five. This is the note A. Okay, the screen and registering an A. So it looks like my guitar is pretty much perfectly in tune so far. Now let's try the next, uh, the fourth string, D. Great, looks like we see a D on the screen, so we're good there. Next string, number three, is G. Okay, check the screen. Now the G, if you'll notice, all of a sudden, my needle is actually not standing up straight. And the color is no longer green. It's actually gone into the yellow territory. So this note is not perfectly in tune. And we'll come back and fix this one in just a sec. Okay, come, continuing on with the second string, B. This note is green. The needle is more or less straight, so it's in tune. And then last, we have the first string, E. Okay, some of you may have already noticed that the first string has the same note as the sixth string. They're both letter E. But if you'll notice, the first string E has a four after it. And let's play the sixth string E again. So that has a two. So I said we were going to talk about that number later. Well, that number refers to something called an octave. And the octave is basically how low or how high a, any given note is. The lower the number, the lower the octave. The higher the number, the higher the octave. So an E2 
um, is a lower number, so it's going to be the lower note versus the E4, which is the higher number, and that's going to be a higher sounding note. So listen carefully, I'm going to play one more time the low E. This is the sixth string and this is the lower octave E. And then I'm going to play the first string, which is the higher octave E. So we can think about this being like the low voice E. And this one is the high voice E. It's important to distinguish because they have the same letter. Uh, so you want to make sure we know exactly what you're, which of the E's you're talking about. So we can talk about uh, the lower E versus the upper E or the higher E. Okay, so um, all of our letters are correct. Let's go back and fix the uh, third string G that was kind of out of tune. So when we're tuning our strings, we need to be very careful and make sure that we select the correct tuner that goes with the string that we need to fix. So there are six tuners up here on the head of the guitar, and each one of these six tuners, one, two, three, four, five, six, corresponds to one of the six strings. And they go in this order, E, A, D, I'm gonna move down straight across the guitar, G, B, E. One more time, letters, our big E, or lower E, A, D, I move straight across to G, B, and then the high E. The numbers are 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So the numbers actually move around the head of the guitar. They make like an, a, an arch, 6, 5, 4, three, two, one. So be very careful um, when you are choosing the, we call these tuning pegs. Be very careful when you're choosing the tuning peg and make sure that it corresponds to the same string. So we care about string number three. So let's find the third tuning peg. Remember we start here and count from six down. Six, five, four, across to three. So here is the G string tuning peg. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. Now, there's two ways you can turn it. You can turn the, the peg or the, um, you can turn the tuning peg either to the left or you can turn it back to the right. I want you to listen to how the note changes as you turn. So I'm gonna start by playing this string and turning it slowly to the left. So if you can hear that, what's happening is the note is actually getting higher. It's going up. As I turn to the left, the note gets higher. Now, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna play it and turn it back to the right. So let's see what happens now. So now the note is getting lower. As I turn to the right, the note gets lower. So try this on your own um, with any one of your strings. Make sure you're turning very slowly and not turning very far, but listen to that subtle change as you turn. Um, when you turn left, you should hear the change go up, and when you turn right, you should hear the change go down. Now, let's look at our screen up here and see if we can watch the change happen um, in the needle on our tuner. So I'm starting, on, again, 